I'm down in I'm in downtown Brooklyn, headed to uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park. Here on the corner of Livingston Street, Born Place, and Brooklyn Bridge Boulevard. There's been a lot of new construction still happening. A lot done. And several projects still currently uh, completing. My first time coming to Brooklyn was in 2006, and it looked much different. The Barclays Center wasn't here. The uh, Atlantic Terminal that I showed in another video, that wasn't here. And so it's been a lot of development um, since 2006. But my first time coming to New York City was uh, 2000. My brother lived in, uh, in the Bronx. And uh, we moved my sister, my sister moved here. My sister would eventually move into um, the Borm Hill neighborhood of uh, Brooklyn, located downtown Brooklyn. That's how I'm familiar with this area because when I moved to New York, uh, January 2016, I moved in with my sister here in Brooklyn. So, you know, I really originally got into photography and filming. Uh, I wanted to tell uh, my story and a story of uh, many uh, men and women transitioning from prison. And I wanted to do this documentary in 2014. So when I... Uh, I started looking for people to help me to do it because I had no um, experience with it. So, you know, I started reaching out to people. And at the time I was in Jackson, Mississippi, um, I had just started. Well, I've been in a PhD program for a year at that time. Uh, well, not actually a year because my first semester there I had to sit out. Uh, because I, of a housing issue um, so I couldn't really go to school that first semester but you know I wanted to uh, shoot this documentary telling the story telling my story of what it's like to transition back into mainstream society after a period of incarceration or just transitioning out of the uh, uh, street life and um, I wanted to uh, tell that story with what it was like for men and women transitioning uh, in Mississippi and because um, that's a story all by itself but that's where it came um, I had asked uh, I found somebody I asked them they said they can help me but then they told me I would have had to buy them all the equipment and then I would have to pay them so that was just ridiculous to me so what I did was uh, I bought the equipment and I just start shooting 
and that was in 2014 and I've been doing photography and filming ever since. I um, took classes um, to learn more about the uh, DSLR classes. I, I did that. And then I also, um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm in school, so uh, I'm a student. So uh, I bought books about filming, cinematography, and I just started uh, buying a software and, um, you know, just learning it. And it's still, it takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot to learn this uh, filming and photography to get the right exposure, especially with uh, filming and, and photography, getting the right exposure, learning the cameras, the different cameras, and all the functions of the camera. So um, I'm planning on taking another photography class um, coming up in the fall. So, but that's where I started uh, filming and doing that. And I got like over um, four to six hours of footage from Mississippi between 2014 in 2015 you know down in the Mississippi Delta and then up in Jackson so um, yeah so uh, it's it's been a long long road still traveling it you know so yeah I, I got on YouTube in 2018. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I believe it was 2018 when I started the YouTube channel. Um, but I didn't really put up any videos or anything. Because I had just started really learning um, social media using Facebook and Instagram. Started learning how to use that. So during the pandemic all the videos that i had i started to post and then also learning how to um, promote the page and um and get the word out about what i'm doing and one of the things i'm learning about youtube and that's continually creating content that's the main thing. Just like I heard um, a professional photographer here in New York and a professional from filmmaker here in New York, they told me just keep shooting. That's, uh, that's how you get better. That's how you learn uh, what it is you want to shoot and what you're shooting, how to set scenes, how to set the mood. Just keep shooting. And uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, every day I get out and um, I take pictures and I film. And um, in the editing, editing has been, it's, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. And uh, I have the uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, basically, I bought the Creative Cloud. I have that. Uh, and it has a, a suite of um, different um, products for uh, editing video and photo. So... I'm using that and then I also got a final draft for screenwriting. I have that software as well. So now we down here by Burrow Hall in downtown Brooklyn. Yeah. They do a lot of skateboarding down here see that a lot during the week especially like Saturday afternoons you'll see a bunch of bunch more skateboarders out here uh, popping tricks you know I haven't done any skating since uh, since well man back in Detroit um, when I was a kid I stopped uh, I stopped skateboarding then you know uh, well, that's it. You know, I was going to go to uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park, um, but this seemed like a nice place to sit and relax 
which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit, relax. I got my uh, writing tool, so I'm just going to journal for a while. And uh, I may eventually go over to Brooklyn Bridge Park. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to sit over here and journal.